the day after tomorrow there'll be a solar eclipse uh, partial one at least and uh, that's quite something you want to watch but at least here in Germany there are no none of these special uh, solar glasses to be had um, looking directly in the Sun or doing some makeshift solutions to look at the Sun directly is too dangerous I came up with a solution based on a camera obscura I've seen similar things on the internet already but I think mine is quite neat so have a look at that now that is what your solar observatory is gonna look like and that is what you'll need the most important bit of course is the crisps um, roll cardboard roll a knife glue um, tape um, a center square if you have one a drill with a 1.5 millimeter bit a hammer a center punch and a few other household items so where do we get started first things first we need to find the center of the lid or rather the bottom of the of the can find that with a center square if you have one if it's not precisely in the middle it doesn't really matter it just looks neat if it's nice and tidy okay I'll put a, um, a block of wood into the the, the, the roll to keep the uh, the bottom from being dented when I center punch it and drill the 1.5 millimeter hole now you might want to experiment with different hole sizes um, it's always a trade-off between uh, brightness and and sharpness of the image right next we'll need um, the actual screen that the um, Sun will project on and that'll be a cardboard disc um, somewhat smaller than um, the bottom of the can cut that out real quick and glue it to the plastic lid Okay, next you'll need sort of a window to look into the uh, into the crisps roll, and I make this six centimeters deep and four centimeters wide. That's good enough, so even the kids can look in with both eyes open. Right, mark that out properly. And to cut that, uh, you should have a really sharp knife, one with a serrated edge, if possible. Um, that makes it a lot easier. It's a bit dangerous, so keep your fingers somewhere safe. So now that's that and well if we were a bit sloppy uh, that, that'll already be the whole thing um, but we'll want to make it a bit nicer and get rid of some of the uh, ambient light that reflects off the inner surface of the of the cardboard roll so I've got this dark cardboard uh, I need a 20 centimeter bit that'll be not quite all the way around the inside of the can put some glue on it
and place it inside the cardboard roll, the cardboard cylinder. Clean up the, the edges a bit. We can bend those round and it'll make nice edges. We'll see that it all stays in place and let that dry for a moment. Okay, once that's done, just to be on the safe side, I'll put some tape around the, around the edges so it doesn't come loose. And that is basically it. Now, if you find that uh, your cardboard lets um, this cardboard screen lets some light through from the from the bottom, if you if you're near a reflective building or something, um, you might want to put some extra uh, black masking tape over the white disc here at the bottom. The inside of course has to stay white. So that's where the, where the sun comes in and that's where you'll see the image of the sun. Of course it's upside down as it always is with the camera obscura. Today we won't notice that because there's no solar eclipse but you will see it appears on the screen the other way around than it's in real life. Light goes in and here we got an image. And you'll see it's a bit fuzzy around the edges, but that's a trade-off between brightness and sharpness.